Okay. Uh, I, all right, we're here at Farm Tech 2017. I'm joined by Timothy Caulfield. Thank you for joining us. Friend of the show, we're going to say, because you've actually been on Real Agriculture a couple times. Never on video, so welcome Never on video. Well, I'm thrilled to be, yes. uh, be part of this. Oh, yeah, I have yeah. been part of this. This is my uh, audience. I yeah, love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> so, so now you are a professor at the University of Alberta, so we're in your in hometown now. Yeah. And also an author. So, and I, I want to ask, how do you become, or what is it like to become a celebrity? For, because celebrities are wrong. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a celebrity. If I'm a celebrity, I'm like, I'd be like the color gray of celebrity. <laughs> In the spectrum of celebrities. Yeah. Come now. No, yeah. uh, Come on. It's, it's funny because I kind of fell into it a little bit. You know, I just started yeah. debunking and I, you know, I was frustrated with every, all that noise that was out there, all that, that science-free noise. Yeah. And I, we started just doing our team. I got a great research team at the University of Alberta. It's just starting more and more and it kind of took off. Yeah. And, you know, I love it and I do think it's important. And I think it's having, you know, not my, the, the problem is that celebrities are having such a huge impact. So we got to right. try to push back against And so that. what is your actual, like, area of expertise? Like, what's your title? Because <laughs> you, you can make up whatever you want. No one's yeah, watching. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell do you know? Yeah. Uh, so I actually, I would call myself a, uh, a science and health policy expert. Okay. Uh, and that's okay. sort of how I got involved in this. So right. uh, I'm... I'm a part of the Faculty of Law and also part of the School of Public Health. Ah, yeah. that's an interesting Yeah, it's a great mix. mix. So one of the things in your presentation here at Farm Tech, you talked about how we are sort of, we are programmed within our DNA to follow prestige. Okay, so whether that was a caveman who was really good at hunting yeah. or a cave woman who was really good at gathering, we are programmed to follow prestige. So is this where the celebrity, if they do it, I'm going to do it, Thing comes from? You know, there's there's speculation on that. It's sort of like an informed speculation. That's you're exactly right. And the idea is that we can't help but recognize people who have prestige, celebrities, and be influenced mm -hmm. by them. Yeah. Um, and there's an interesting phenomenon called the third party effect, because what happens is if you, you know, I've talked to a lot of people about celebrities, and everyone goes, oh yeah, everyone's influenced by celebrities, but but not, not me. me. Yes, <laughs> me. of course not. And yeah. if you look at the studies, you know, you can see the impact that celebrities have on populations, but everyone thinks it's their stupid neighbor, not yes. them, right? Yes. And and that's not right. You know, it actually influences yeah. all of us very in a very subtle way. And so that is, that actually, that's one of one of my takeaways, which I think, you know, is the crux of when, when you do these talks, of that misleading information and, and science-free information actually does real damage. That's so, right. So, you know, homeopathy might be a not real thing, but it does real damage. And so what are some of the examples of the things that that really there is danger in misinformation. Well, I think the vaccination thing, we got to yeah, put it huge. right at the top, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. it's it's incredible yeah. and it and it continues to have an impact. I know you've seen that there's, you know, increased mumps outbreaks yeah. in the US. Hockey measles players ever. got them recently. Yeah. Anyway, so that's And an aside. you know, measles yeah. and and yeah. we and we think of these as harmless kid uh, diseases and they're not. People yeah. die. Yeah. And yeah. people die from influenza, right? And yeah. and then you break that out to the world. It's it's a real it's a real problem. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of it is driven by popular culture and the and the spread of these myths. The other yeah. thing that drives me nuts are the crazy diets. You know, yes. they, they found yeah. sound funny and stuff, but I really think they distract people from doing right. Take, adopting strategies, strategies that would really for real health and, yeah, so one, and, and one that the, would work. Yeah, and one of the things you point out is there are those, especially those with lower incomes, who avoid fruits and vegetables for fear of pesticide yeah. residues. And realistically, eating enough fruits and vegetables is a struggle for most. And so, yeah, to, that, I, so I think it's yeah. a great example. And yeah. I and, and and again, there's a little bit of evidence to back this up, but but there. I absolutely think celebrities have had a whole, a huge impact on this organic and the fear of pesticides mm -hmm. and the fear of toxins and the fear of chemicals. Yes. Um, and if people are avoiding fruits and vegetables because of those evidence-free fears, that's a real problem, right? right. And um, you know, we need to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. You know, we got to eat whole grains. We got to eat yes. real food. Yes. And you do. We'll go at the end. We'll list your six things to be healthy. But I, I want to ask. You, of course, try some of these ridiculous things, whether it's IV therapy. Have you ever done the where you sniff the oxygen in an oxygen the bar? The oxygen bar? Yeah. You know, those are, that seemed to have it's, faded. It, it, it had its, it had its, <laughs> its day, moment, and then yeah. it's moved on. Now it's an IV, which I know some people have done that for hangovers, yeah. which I would like to do it for coffee. But anyway, that's an aside. Um, what, is the, what is the craziest thing you've done of some of these fads? Well, I got to say the cryotherapy was pretty wild, yes. you know, minus 152 yes. uh, Celsius. That was pretty wild. There's been a lot of detoxes right, yes, that yeah. uh, are, I've tried. You know, there's a beer detox. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it means you don't have beer. In no, which case... no, it means you get to drink. Uh, oh. Uh, so that was a, 
That's crazy a, one, but okay. I, I give it a thumbs up. You could get behind that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, let's let's then one of the things you said in in sort of because of course all right so here's the damage that misinformation these sorts of things does what do we do about it and one of your main points is we need to call it bunk we need to call this what it is and it's it's bunk it's bunk, it's bunk. I, and just I call think that's it true. that and, yeah and that's a little bit of a controversial position i take because yeah. some people say yeah. you know we've got to respect these other perspectives right. and we've got to be sensitive well, to and no one likes being told they're wrong yeah I, so i right. think we got to do all of so, the above yeah so absolutely. The, so i do yeah. think we need to try to understand why people hold these perspectives yes. i don't think we why? call them yeah. idiots right we yeah. say you know what's attracting you to gwyneth's yes. you know vagina steam yeah. you know why are you interested yeah, in this anyway that's the design <laughs> so yes. we got to do all the above right and but i i don't think we we should ignore or stating what the science really says. And sometimes right. I think people treat it, treat it as an and or, you know, and not a, a together, right? Right. Uh, and so I, I think we've got to try to do these things together. And so, and so really, and I think that this is probably, probably part of it, is that we all like a quick fix, right? We want a seven-day detox yeah. to suddenly make us thinner and clearer skin and all these sorts of things. But you highlight the six things that actually do work towards a happy, healthy life, and they are not smoking. Yeah, obvious, big one. And which is a huge one. It, it's obvious, but it's not, because yeah. we, well, we live in Canada, and it's cold in winter, and people still stand outside yeah. in minus 40 <laughs> and smoke cigarettes, so it's clearly not that obvious. You know Gwyneth um, smokes? I'm sorry, who? Gwyneth Paltrow smokes, which is insane. No, but it's probably like organic <laughs> cigarettes, though, so it's totally oh, yeah, fine. It's totally right. fine. That's okay, okay, so, and what are the other ones? Was uh, vigorous exercise, yeah. which, of course, most and of being us active. Do not get. Yeah, absolutely. What were the other ones? Real food. Yes. Number three is eat real food. Yes. And and I, I, people say, oh, that's a cheat. You know, it's a complicated topic. Yeah. You know, for most people, it's, it's not. not. It's yeah. like you eat lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, healthy yeah. proteins, yeah. Know, some dairy. And not too much. And not, yeah, not there too much. There you go. Yeah. And not too much. And that's fine. And sleep. Sleep. That was the one that we couldn't think of. You <laughs> asked the audience, and someone said, and what's the sixth one? Wine. And, uh, no. Uh, but sleep. Sleep, and there's yeah. more and more research to show how important that is. You know, if you don't yeah. get a good night's sleep, you are, you know, most more likely to get a, a host of other diseases, right. and you feel more yeah. stressed, and you don't perform as well, and there's yeah. more likely to have injuries, you know, right. car accidents, yes. all these things. So, yeah. you know, sleep has got to be a higher priority right. for people. And then, of course, basic safety of wearing your seatbelts, yeah. getting your vaccines, those sorts of things. Uh, and then the one that wasn't on there, but that we sort of talked about after, is the importance of relationships. That, yeah, that's that right. That, right. You know, it's funny because we're social critters. We yeah. are social critters, and I and I, I you know, it's funny because I have my own bias against it because I'm a, such a science geek, and that sounds kind of you know new agey and stuff. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but there's evidence to support how yes. important relationships and, and loving people oh. uh, are. <laughs> also, and possibly avoiding being run over by someone. Speaking of injury yeah, prevention. Okay, right? Yeah, exactly. That happens a lot. One time at Farm Tech, uh, we were almost run over by a forklift. So anyway. That would have been cool. Uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have the six things we do need. We need to call it bunk. And last question, what is going to be the next big fad? I think that there's going to be more stuff on this microbiome. Uh, yes, I, I really, gut health. The gut health thing. Yeah, and that's, okay. I call it gut hype. It's Ooh. already taking off. Okay, you need to trade my cup <laughs> okay. right here. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.